Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the Memorial Tournament, which uh, starts tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be doing the slate breakdown uh, solo tonight. Um, Bobby's out, so I'm going to go through it the same way that I would if Bobby were here, except I'm just getting my opinions and not Bobby's as well. Um, the, the projections and ownerships are pretty tight as of this point, um, which, is, which is good. Um, I'm probably going to do one more update as we get towards maybe midnight tonight, but I don't foresee any real big changes between the data as of this recording and, uh, and the final one. And I can't imagine it really impacting what I feel about the slate and how I'm gonna play. Um, so let's, let's start the way we always do. I'm gonna go tier by tier. And then I'm going to highlight what I feel is my best kind of overall plays given ownership as well. And then I'm going to do that little contest uh, within the tiers uh, as well at the end. So the above 10 K range uh, as, as, as is usually the case with me, I, I, I'm not really drawn too much towards it. Uh, I, I feel as though in this particular particular slate, I could probably get away without it. But if you did want to rank these, I do have Rom as slightly better than than Rory and, and Cantlay, but not not exceedingly so. And, and, and I have Rom at his ownership, I have him approaching maybe 20%. If, if anything, maybe I think that's a little high, maybe it'll be a little bit lower, because he's 11 one. And I think other people are seeing what I'm kind of what I'm seeing as well. Um, I actually have Rory and Cantlay very close to one another and they're about 15% also. And then I have a pretty decent sized drop down to Shoffle. Um Well, is it a decent sized drop? That's, that's a, actually a pretty interesting question. I, actually, I would say no. I, I don't think it's a significant drop. I have him very similar now that I'm thinking about it to Rory and Cantlay. Um, and with respect to ownership, I do have Xander as being lower owned than those other two. But then again, I also have this theory that Xander tends to be higher owned than he is usually projected. Um, so all of this is to say, I feel as though all four of those 10K guys are equal with respect to whether you should play them or not. One thing I am still not getting to ever is any Colin Morikawa. Just, I don't know what it is about the models I use, um, but I just never get to him. And so far it really hasn't burned me that much. So we're gonna continue to full fade, probably a uh, Colin Morikawa. Um, but again, with respect to whether you need to play these guys at all, uh, I, don't, I don't know that that's the case. Uh, Actually, I'm, I'm almost sure that's not the case. I don't think you need to play into these guys at all. But if you did get to builds there you, where you had either Rom, McElroy, Cantlay, or Shoffley, I would not have either one of them that much higher owned than the other three. I think that given ownership, given the way they're ranked, given everything, I would regard them as all pretty equal. Uh, hope that helps. I didn't confuse you too much. The 9K golfers is, I think, where most of the most of the action is going to be, especially as, as it relates to my models and, and how they're, they're projecting and things like that. I think that there are a few 9K guys that are standing out here and they're probably going to get owned as a result. So, so we're going to have to really dig into this. I mean, you only have what? Um, maybe like 10 guys here. And I actually think they all look playable. Um, at the top of my rankings is actually Matt Fitzpatrick at 9,100. Um, and that's slightly over the higher owned Shane Lowry. Like I have Shane Lowry is pushing to be the highest owned golfer on the overall, on the whole slate, um, which, is, which is certainly, I mean, it's not surprising. But I, I don't 
find him any better than Fitzpatrick. And I feel as though Fitzpatrick, given that 5% ownership discount, I mean, I have him at 15%, Lowry at 20. I think that matters. And I, w- I would prefer in my single entries to play Fitzpatrick over Lowry. Um, th- then you go down a little bit. So you see, I have Cameron Smith as a little bit w- weaker than those two. And yet his ownership, I have very similar. So once again, I would prefer the Fitzpatrick to, to, um, to Cam Smith. Though Cam Smith does look like a good play. Um, Hovland. I have Hovland a little bit below um, Cam Smith. Not a lot, but a, a little bit. And, and when I, I have him at, say, a full 20% ownership, uh, once again, um, I, I'll get to him in, in builds where I have other non-chalky options. But if we're talking about single entry and just really just picking your overall best play, I would still have Fitzpatrick rated higher than him. Um, and, and then we're down to the last two that I even have ranked here. I, I might have covered them all, but uh, Zalatoris and, and Spieth. Um, and these guys, again, they're, they're weaker than the others. And I don't see any big ownership discount. Like I'm getting 17% for, for Jordan Spieth and, um, and Zalatoris about 17% also. So it's, it's not as if you're getting any big discounts to go down in, in, in projection. So, I mean, for me, and this is the way I kind of visualize it and do it. And I'm, I'm working off of the true DFS kind of premium sheets here, but you could do that with whatever set of projections that you're, that you're looking at. I, I would, I would definitely regard Fitzpatrick as, as at least again, if you're building one lineup that is going to combine both ownership and, you know, and, and chances to win, so to speak. I, I think that Fitzpatrick is probably my favorite of the nine Ks. And, and the more I'm looking at this, I think that's kind of by a decent amount also. And the other thing about Fitzpatrick is he's always everybody's kind of model darling when he's in like the 8K range or whatever. But when you're, when you're putting him up against Cam Smith and Victor Hovland and Salatoris, and, and then even have Sunjay M a thousand to 200 below him. And then the speed, I don't think that people are as willing to, to, to click that button for Fitzpatrick, even though he's kind of a model darling when you're dealing with those types of that type of competition, not to mention Shane Lowry is projecting in some places to be the best overall play. Um, I think Fitzpatrick for, for a golfer who usually gets a lot of ownership is going to get a less so this week than maybe his, his, you know, chances deserve. So um, that's again, another kind of a long way of saying that Fitz, I think Fitzpatrick is a pretty good play. Um Going into the 8K range, we're going to start with uh, what I have is the best overall play on the slate, and that would be Joaquin Neiman, which is kind of um, it's kind of fitting uh, that Bobby's not here because Bobby plays him quite a bit, and he's now rating for me to be the top overall play on the slate, kind of tied with um, Fitzpatrick and maybe Lowry, but I have Neiman as very very strong. 8300 is, and I would expect to see that with an 8300 price tag with him. I am seeing him at 15% ownership, but it's not as if he's 20, you know, and, and if I'm going to have the top, you know, top, uh, top play at only 15, I think I'm willing to take that. So I do think Neiman is, is the type of chalk that I'm probably willing to eat, especially if that chalk's only about 15%. So I like that a lot. And then the, the, I only, then the next best 8k guy, I, I, I go look to go right back to him again is, is Mito, you know, Mito Pereira. That's, that's, you know, he, he had a, kind of a heartbreak in, uh, two weeks ago in, in the PGA championship and people were expecting him to let down and he had another really good performance and his, he just happens to be playing really well. He's showing up on all the models and, you know, he's, he's getting owned, but it's not through the roof. Um, I'm just getting about 14%. So I think he's certainly, certainly viable as a solid semi chalky type play, you know, uh, then we're down to the next set of eight Ks and, and, and Sun J M he's my next rated guy. And I have him rated at only 12% ownership. So I think that's a pretty strong idea. I, th- I have him rated higher than someone like Max Homa and Max Homa is pulling, looks to be about 15% ownership. So, uh, I would prefer Sun J M to Homa, but the two guys that I have 
actually three guys that I have in the 8K range that I really want to highlight. And I think I made these what I called core plays, you know, um, and that would be the lower rank, but also lower own you know, triumvirate, I guess, of Daniel Berger, Corey Connors, and Keegan Bradley. I have all three of these guys at sub 10%. Keegan Bradley may be about 10, but all three of these guys are, you know, below 10%. And while they are, you know, rated lower than Neiman, for example, um, I, I feel as though their ownership discount is enough. Maybe not to make them as good a play of someone like Neiman, but pretty close. And I think Mito, again, is going to get probably a decent amount of ownership. So I, 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 this Keegan Bradley play and this Corey Connors play and this Daniel Berger play, I, I think it has, has, some, has some teeth. Um, and then I really don't have anybody else. I'm not, I've heard a little bit of Seamus Power talk. I, you look, you can't play everybody. Again, yeah, you know, I guess he would be the next one, so I'll include him. But I'm not going to play, say, Cameron Young at 16%. Like that's that's a guy I'm not going to play. Like, if I get to him in MME builds where I have other, you know, non chalky stuff, maybe. But in my single entries, I, I'm never – I'm not doing that. I mean, he's rated too low on my list relative to the 15 60% ownership he's going to take. So, um, you know, this 8K range I feel is loaded and, and is the, the key to the slate. And which is why you don't really need to play these 11Ks. I'd much rather play multiple 8Ks than to have to suffer with playing an 11K and then having to dip below into some, some plays I really don't want. So uh, all those guys I mentioned, Neiman, uh, Mito, and then that, that four, I was, let's, let's throw power in and that foursome between Berger, Connors, Bradley, and, and, um, and power. I, I think that's a really really good you know cluster of golfers to build your lineups around um now when you go down into the 7k range this is normally a, a range that i find myself trolling you know or but, but i'm not really getting a they're not as they're not popping as much as they usually do but i will say that of the top 8k guys uh sub 8k guys my number one rated is is chris kirk and he is um i have him only get 10 percent ownership so that's pretty good and the next guy I have is Aaron Wise, and he's only a 10%. That's pretty good as well. And then I have Billy Horschel, again, from last week. He's only 7%. And then if you do get into some of these other 7Ks, like Gary Woodland, Norin, Adam Scott, I'm just reading them off my list here, um, Mark Leishman. I mean, the, the good thing is those are all going to be sub 10%, um, because I do believe that people are going to see what I see and make their build their lineups out of these 9K and 8K guys. Um, so it's possible that, you know, you could be somewhat contrarian and play those guys like Woodland, Alex Noren, Adam Scott's not my cup of tea, so to speak, but, um, Siwoo Kim, Tom Hoji, you know, not to, not to call off all the names. Right. But, but, but that's, I really do like all these guys, you know, especially at low ownership. The under 7K range, I'm really just don't think you have to do it all. Um, I'll go over some guys that are showing up, but I mean, you really got to love these 11Ks if you want to, you know what I mean? If you're going to have to play these 6,900s. And, and, and one of them, I guess my top would be Ryan Palmer. Same guys as usual, you know, Kevin Streelman, Adam Hadwin. Johnny Vegas, 6,700. That's, that's almost, uh, almost insulting. I mean, he's been pretty good. So I guess those guys would be would be okay as far as the sub seven Ks, but overall, I don't think you need you need to go do that. Um. So let me let me go through this again. I'm, I'm going to do this by range, and I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to do the contest, but I'm as I go through each range and their contest, I'm also going to identify my best pick from that range given ownership as well. So what we usually do is we say, okay, who's going to win the golf tournament? Um, all right. It's just way too pedestrian to say Rom should have won it last year because he had the six stroke lead and then he got COVID and then he won the year before. It's just way, it's just way too narrative driven for me. So I'm not going to do that. I will go. Um, 
I don't have to go Rory. As I mentioned, all these guys seem very similar to me. So I'll go, I'll go, uh, screw it. I'll go, I'll go. Um, and Canley won it last year, right? In the playoff. Let's go. Let's just take, uh, let's take Xander. The guy's going to win the tournament. And while we're, while we're at it, my favorite play in this range, given ownership and everything, I'm also going to give to Xander. So Xander will be my top play in the range, given ownership, and also my pick to win the tournament. So let's just you want to throw him in here. Um, okay. Uh, 9K range. So we want a 9K guy who's going to finish in the top five. And I... I'm going to actually do the same thing. In other words, I'm going to give the same guy as to finish top five as also my top overall play, given ownership and everything. I'm going to go right back to Matt Fitzpatrick for all the reasons that I mentioned earlier. He rates to be you know, pretty close to Shane Lowry as the best play in this range. But the ownership discount is something I'm really interested in. So, so I think Fitzpatrick is probably the best play in the range. And also, um, I'm going to pick him to pick a top five. All right, under 9K to finish top 10, a lot of good choices. But 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 just, just to be on point, I mean, I am going to go with Joaquin. Um, he does rate to be the best play on the slate for me. Um, now, with respect to my best play in this range, given ownership, I am going to go with one of these other under 8K, these, these lower owned guys. So I'm going to go with, and I don't want to say between this guy and this guy, because then that's, that's hedging. I will go with Daniel Berger, given ownership and everything else uh, as my best overall play, but it's close. I mean, Neiman is such a strong play even with that 15% ownership, but I'm going to, I'm going to give out burger under 8k to finish top 20. Um, I'm going to go with Aaron wise. And as far as under 8k given ownership and everything like that, I guess I have to take the lower owned guy. So I'm going to go with Gary Woodland as the top kind of, you know, low owned play. Maybe he's not the best of them all, but I'm going to go with, with Gary Woodland as my best overall given ownership and everything in the under 8K range. Under 7K range, under 7K to make the cut. I mean, I'll go to Ryan Palmer, I suppose. And under 7K with ownership considerations. Um, I'll go with um, Jonathan Vegas to make the cut. As well, I'm not, not to make the cut. I'm Jonathan Vegas, my best overall 7K under 7K play, given ownership and everything. And then what I'm going to go do is top guy under over 9K to miss the cut, just for fun. I will go, and this 9K range is pretty loaded. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on on point here and i'm gonna go with colin marikawa to miss the cut and then best overall fade like guy i just getting way too much ownership given i think his chances uh i will go with probably should be colin marikawa right but i'm not gonna go there go there i'm gonna say hideki matsuyama I think 15% is too much for him. Um, and that'll do it. Um, again, watch for one more update as we get closer to lock as far as numbers go. But I think that kind of at least pointed you in the right direction. Uh, that will do it. And good luck.